hey what is up everyone welcome back to future coders today in this video we are going to be building this digital clock using html css and javascript in the previous video we built analog clock if you haven't checked that out please make sure you check that out link is in the description box so today we are going to be building this digital clock yeah let's go ahead and see what exactly are we going to be building in this video yeah it's very simple it's going to be completely beginner friendly it's completely easy it's going to be a quick project here we will display the time as you can see the time is being updated updated dynamically and we are going to show the current date as you can see it also shows whether it is am or pm all right so before we actually jump into building this if you haven't subscribed to our channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to smash that like button in this video all right so let's start building this so as usual i have created three files index.html styles.css and script.js and i have also linked the css file as well as javascript file so let's start building this html is going to be completely simple it's going to have a container Inside this container, we will have a div with an ID of digital clock. And inside this digital clock, as I said, we'll be displaying the time and date, right? So let's create a div with an ID of time. And similarly, another one is going to be for date, for displaying the date. So that's it for JavaScript. Sorry, that's it for HTML. Now we need to move on to CSS. So for the CSS, as usual, we'll clear out uh, default margin and padding being applied by the browser. So margin zero, padding zero, box sizing to border box. And we also need to use a font family, which is going to be monospace. That's it. Yep. Uh, since there is no content inside this, uh, actually, we are still seeing a blank slate until we start working on javascript that this is going to be the case all right let's start working on the body so for the body let's set the background color to this usual color uh, grayish color so that's it for the body so for the container so for the container let's set the max width of 900 pixels so that it doesn't go behind 900 pixels margin is going to be zero and auto so that we center all the content actually to the center and let's add padding of pi rm to the top and bottom and zero to the left and right since we have already used margin zero auto yeah that's going to be centered and padding is going to be inside yeah and we also have this id right digital clock let's target that so inside the container we have this Deal with an idea of digital clock so for this this is going to be the main thing inside this we are going to have a padding of 3 rem uh, font size of let's set it to 6 rem font weight to bold and color is going to be white the text color is going to be white don't worry you are not going to see any changes yeah we, once we add start working on javascript you will See the changes these are just basic styles you can change and tweak around the styles once we actually start add javascript and let's also add a text shadow this is a new property which i tried for this project so let's do this color let's also set text align to center so that we the text is aligned center padding all around 1.5 rem um yep uh, since we already added padding i don't think this is necessary so background color is going to be um let's say this color only let's use this color yeah there you are seeing some some changes so let's add a border radius of 10 pixels so that corners doesn't look sharp and finally a box shadow of 0 0 20 pixels and color is going to be this color all right that we have the box shadow as well and for the date when we are displaying the date it should actually look small right so for the date i will target the date 
font size is going to be 2 rm for the time it's going to be 6 rm but for the font size uh, for the date it's 2 rm and let's also add a margin top of 1 rm yep that's it for the date now let's start working on the javascript as usual we need to get uh, our dom elements so let date date element so document dot get element by id this time we gave an id we gave them id right while building in the lock lock we actually uh did it did not give a uh, class we gave a class right so yeah so similarly for the time also time all right you can also use query selector and mention this hash symbol no worries but this looks clean right so yeah let's create a function set time so inside this function yeah like the previous video you are going to create a new date and store it inside now and you know or you already know if you watch the previous video using now we can get hours minutes seconds and everything right so let's get the hours so hours we can get using get hours function and let gets minutes using now dot get minutes and let's also get seconds now dot get seconds all right we also need to display the date right so let's get the day using now dot get date we also need the month now dot get month and we need to do a plus one that's because uh, month i uh, this javascript object actually returns uh, index which actually starts from zero right so we need to plus one it so that we can display the current month all right and finally we need to get the year so year we can get is using get now dot get full year yeah that's it this is all we that uh, we need so only now the only thing left now is deciding am and pm right so let's work on that so here am pm we will create a array variable so we'll add a conditional so if hours is greater than or equal to 12 if it is greater than or equal to so or 12 of course it's going to be pm right so let's do it pm so if it is not it's going to be morning am so let's add that all right uh, since uh, these hours minutes seconds can be uh, displayed in a single digit right so we don't want single digits we actually need double digits so if it is in single digit we need to append a zero to that so let's do that so if hours is less than 10 yeah if hours is less than 10 what we need to do is hours equal to we need to append a zero before so hours and hours that's it similarly we'll do it for the minutes as well so minutes this is going to be minutes minutes yeah similarly for the seconds also let's copy this Yeah, let's rename it as seconds and uh, we also know, need to do this for the day as well so here day and for the month as well all right there uh, everything is ready now we only need to build the current time and uh, post the date so let's build it so current time so current time is we'll build a string so first we'll display hours as usual and we will append this colon symbol so so that we can separate hours minutes seconds of course yeah yeah then we will append minutes then we will again add this colon then again let's append seconds and again uh, let's add a blank after seconds of course it's going to be 
am pm whether it's am or pm right so let's also decide the current date now so current day is uh, first we need to display the day then this symbol to separate day month and year now we need to display the month and again this symbol and uh, and year this should be a variable right so here instead of doing this you can of course use a string literal that's going to be completely easy right so i want to make things complicated and uh, yeah in the previous video we actually used uh, template literals, literals you can use it you can use those also that's the assignment for you you can do that you change this thing to template literals yeah i can even cannot pronounce it yeah that's why i'm not using those so let's time uh, let's uh, we need to add the text content right so yeah inside the time dot text content so let's set the current time here current date current time and uh, time and date so for the date we'll set the current date let's see whether this works or not so let's call this function yeah it's it's displaying something right so so in order to uh, make this dynamic this thing needs to be called every second right so we can that's why we can use set interval like the previous video so we need to call the set time and every second yep so as you can see the time is actually currently displaying in the 24 hour format and that's because it's currently 12 am and yeah it's actually starts from zero and then goes on to one two three and all that stuff right so yeah this is your assignment i give you this challenge to make this clock 12 hour format and once you do it you can actually share the code in the comment section below and i will try to see and correct the code or review the code yeah and that's it for this video all right and as you can see this is what we actually built and if you actually want the source code of this project you can head over to our website futurecodersweb.com and there you can get all the source code for this project as you can see this is entirely a written article which you can follow and follow this one and build this project as you can see i have provided all the html javascript and css file as well and you can also download the source code by clicking on this button all right that's it for this video and if you haven't liked the, this video please make sure you give a thumbs up for this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching bye